This is my second time shooting this piece of shit because I moved it over and it was like, and I filmed it and it, it turned out pretty good. Now I have to reshoot it because of annoying feedback. But anyways, this is recent watches video. I thought I'd pop in to say hello. This first one uh, actually should have been in my last recent watches, but uh, I forgot it. I can't believe I forgot it because it's an awesome movie. It is the Bolli Syndrome. Crazy movie. Uh, director of Untold Story, star of Untold Story, Anthony Wong. And in this movie, basically, uh, it is a Hong Kong sick fest. Uh, wild movie. Basically, it follows the plot of a guy who catches the bull eye, who's a sick psychopath who's wanted by police a long time ago. And uh, what happens is he's immune to it. He gets sick for a while, but then he passes, and he doesn't know he has a bull eye. And he goes out through his sick antics and spreading a bull eye, killing tons and tons of people. He basically does what he wants to. He uh, rapes people. He kills people. He's just a sick bastard, and nothing gets in his way. He does what he wants. And uh, there's a lot of brutal stuff in here. This movie has no limits to its brutality. I mean, a child is killed. Stuff like that. It's just, think on Told Story, uh, Hong Kong Insanity. Great movie. Great horror movie. It's pretty pretty sleazy insanity check it out Ebola syndrome that one's for you 81 Oak Ridge ate the chosen one people that like that kind of sick stuff like me uh, next one for more for people that like sick stuff again here's another one Hanger director of Gutter Balls Ryan Nicholson has another hit to me Hanger completely and utterly disgusting kind of like street trash meets Dick Tracy. Dick Tracy has all those prosthetic, the characters with prosthetics on them, and they have that in this too. It's kind of like a comic book in that aspect, but it's completely different. I shouldn't have said Dick Tracy. Those just, uh, just the prosthetics remind me of Dick Tracy. The movie is like a trauma movie, but just gritty at the same time and sleazy and uh, actually better than a trauma movie. Uh, the character of Hanger, basically, I'm going to ruin it because the case does. Basically, Hanger, spoiler, is uh, the result of a failed coat hanger abortion, and his mother died, and he's trying to get revenge with the help of his biological father, the John. <laughs> Anyways, things get wild, things get sick, things get crazy. Disgusting, horrible rape scene involving a colostomy hole. A colostomy, I can't even say it, but you know what I mean. It's fucking gross. This movie is sickly. Think it's it's not as good as Gutter Balls, but it's pretty gross, and it's an awesome, crazy ride. Kind of like Street Trash, trauma style. Even though that was like a trauma movie already, kind of like just Gutter Ball style. Pretty insane movie, awesome movie. The character of Russell has a a, a tampon fetish. Think about that. Pretty sick. And uh, it's cool because Russell was in Gutter Balls. He was one of the rapists, the, the big guy, the rip one. And uh, the another guys in this too. Uh, I don't remember his name in this, but uh, remember the main guy who's like a big asshole in Gutter Balls? He's in this, and they're all prosthetic, they're all retarded looking. Crazy. Crazy movie, Hanger. Both Bull Ice Syndrome and Hanger are both recommended. Then here, we have a nice, fun sci fi romp, Change of Pace. This was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Ray Wise was in it. Great father son relationship with this, with this character. Uh, good chemistry between the two leads. Uh, really fun sci fi movie with some CGI bugs, but the CGI bugs worked. Uh, the gore was kind of cool for the bugs. It was a lot of fun, a lot of cool characters. I really enjoyed this movie. Actually, really thought it was cool and fun, and I laughed. I was laughing a few times. I was. I actually liked the characters. The ending was pretty cool. I guess how they did that. All in all, a really fun sci-fi horror comedy romp, which is well worth a look for sure. Recommended. And then the next one here is Fred Vogel's Tote from Toe Tag Pictures uh, slasher movie. It's only really traditional film, Red Sin Tower, which is actually. I really liked it. I can't believe it. I know it starts off slow, and a lot of people don't like that. And But when the violence does kick in, there is ridiculous amounts of gore. Not ridiculous, but there is some really good gore scenes when they happen. Kind of sick stuff. Uh, supernatural thriller at its finest for independent stuff here. Uh, the character of Carl really reminded me of a buddy of mine. He was a good actor. The character's chemistry is good. The characters do seem realistic. That's what I did enjoy. And... Uh, it also has a side plot with a stalker boyfriend that comes into the end, which is actually pretty cool how it's winter wound in there. And, you know, I didn't, I, I, I could believe these characters. And uh, the character of Philly was a nice guy. Lots of cool characters. And, uh, you know, it's kind of sad to see what happens to some of these people. Uh, I would recommend this one for those kind of low budget gore slasher movies because it's actually pretty cool. And it's actually decently acted. Fred Vogel has a role in it. I thought the acting was fine, I thought it was pretty good. And I thought how it was shot was cool. I thought it was actually kind of spooky. And I thought that it was slow at first, but I didn't mind that. I actually liked that because it set a lot of it up when the people actually start getting killed. So, yeah, Red Sin Tower. I actually like this better than any of the other August uh, August Underground movies I've seen. I think this is their best movie so far. 
maybe not as good as August Underground 1 because the impact isn't there. But I think it's probably their best all-around horror film. It's straight up. Horror movie. That's what I liked. And the last, uh, Red Room. Louis C. Justin said this was a pretty good movie. I had it and I mentioned it. He said it's awesome, so I popped it in. And at first I didn't really know what to expect from On Earth, those sick bastards. But uh, at first I was like, yeah, this was kind of cheap, really cheap looking. But that kind of helped the snuff feel, which I didn't know was about to happen. Uh, basically it is um, these people that are desperate for money, so they go into a room to play this game. The king game. Forbidden, forbidden kid game, king game, and uh, they draw cards. The king uh, gets to make the calls, and if you don't do the calls, you're eliminated, and you don't win the 10 million yen. All these people are desperate. There's a husband and wife combination there, which is really interesting. The two girls in there are awesome as well. The two uh, younger girls, pretty crazy characters. But as it uh, progresses, it starts off with maybe just something as simple as a French kiss for three minutes. But by the end, there is spoiler. Hor I'm not going to give away the main sex act that happens, which is fucking disgusting insanity. Insanity, I tell you. But, uh, first off, it starts with a little French kiss. Before you know it, somebody's peeing in somebody's mouth. Uh, horrific sex acts, rape, <laughs> a, lot, a couple sick stuffs. The dialogue's cool. Uh, the two husband and wife are just wild characters. It's kind of weird. They're wearing these little dog shirts. Weird stuff. But, uh, I'd recommend this one, Red Room, for sure. I'd recommend all five of those. All five of them are worth a look, for sure. They're all cool movies. I really liked all of them. I would not have one complaint about any of them. But, uh, yeah, those are the five. All sort, all best of their genres, really best as you could hope for. But uh, yeah, great stuff. Uh, that one, 81 Oak Ridge. Check out Red Room, Hanger, and Ebola Life Syndrome. I think you'll like all those. I know you've seen Red Sin Tower, and I know you didn't. I thought you thought it was mediocre. But anyways, I want to spend this time. I mentioned him before in my sidebar over there. But I wanted to say that you should check out this guy, Liquid Killer. He's one. He's a really nice guy. He's really got a cool collection of posters and everything, and he knows his stuff. He was showing all these crazy posters and masks he had. He had the original William Shatner mask from Mike Myers. Lots of cool stuff. Uh, really cool guy. Knows his stuff. Check him out. Thank you for watching. Uh, see you guys. And don't forget the contest video. It is. It ends the 31st, so don't put any comments the 31st or video responses because they won't count. I'll chop them up the 31st. I'll put them in a big hat and draw them just January 1st or 2nd for New Year's. And uh, also I wanted to explain something really quick about that contest. Um, let's say that person gets first prize and they don't want first prize. They can talk to the second prize winner and see if they want to trade. Stuff like that. Okay? But anyways, have a good one. Thanks for the recent watches. I watched these five crazy-ass movies. All of them are disgusting except Infestation, which is fun. Uh, Ebola Syndrome, Hangar, Infestation, Red Sin Tower, and Red Room. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye.